Hey guys, it's me, Adam Cassidy. I'm really sorry I haven't made a video in a while, it's just I've kind of been too busy masturbating. Funny thing is, that's not even a joke. I just love to masturbate. So I discovered something quite amazing today. It turns out that May is apparently masturbation month. Well, in all honesty, every month is masturbation month to me, but whatever. So to get in the whole masturbation spirit, I thought I'd find out some facts for you. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Let's find some sexy facts. <laughs> The word masturbation itself comes from several Greek words. The first one is mesia, which means genitals, or the Latin manus, which is hand. But my favourite one is the Latin tabar, which means to disturb. So it's basically, masturbation means disturbing your genitals. <laughs> There's another kind of Latin entomology, and it's manus to pair, which means to defile with the hand. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that doesn't really make masturbation sound pleasant to me. I'm gonna go defile my genitals. Techniques. Mm -hmm. Ways of masturbating common to members of both sexes include pressing or rubbing the genital area. I just sit there and press my penis. Dude. Oh, okay, there's a picture of a uh, man's Wilkins. I'm gonna watch that. Frequency of masturbation is determined by age, sex, you know, those kind of things. To me, it's determined by how boredom, how how bored am I am? To me, it's kind of determined by how bored I am and whether or not I'm alone. <laughs> Dude, I like this. This is funny. I have to talk about masturbation. Some of these diagrams are horrific. <laughs> There's a painting called Woman Seated with Thighs Apart. It looks like someone's just taken a hacksaw and gone at her. Like two people have got her legs and kind of pulled them in opposite directions. Like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Fatality. Risks. This one's kind of a given, but I still feel like quoting it. Those who insert objects as to aid masturbation risk them becoming stuck. <laughs> Example, rectal foreign bodies. So for all of you who, you know, put coins up your ass. Women can also fall prey to this problem, apparently. A woman presented at a German hospital <laughs> with two pencils stuck in her bladder. Compulsive masturbation. There is no scientific evidence of causative relationship between masturbation and any form of a mental disorder. Compulsive masturbation and other compulsive behaviours can be signs of emotional problems. Great, so I'm suffering from emotional problems, which makes me touch myself. Sweet. This is one of the best topics I've ever heard about masturbation. The Masturbatathon. Masturbation is accepted as a healthy practice and safe method for sharing pleasure without some of the dangers that accompany intercourse. Well, that's kind of a given. But then it says this. It is socially accepted and even encouraged and celebrated in certain circles. I'd hate to be in the center of that circle. Group masturbation events can easily be found online. You've got to love the internet. Masturbation marathons are events occurring across the globe as we speak. These events provide a supportive, encouraging environment where masturbation can be performed openly among young and old without embarrassment. Participants talk openly with onlookers while masturbating and share techniques to describe the pleasure and benefits. So it's, it's basically a room full of people bothering themselves and just going, so yeah, what's your method? You know, I just kind of keep going until I stop. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I go as fucking fast as I can. <laughs> Masturbation marathon. That's like the only race on earth where the guy who comes last can win. <laughs> Listen to this. This is this is why I love my country sometimes. In the UK in 2009, a leaflet was issued by the National Health Service in Sheffield saying, a, an orgasm a day keeps the doctor away. By that logic, I'm fucking immortal now. Can't believe they have pictures on Wikipedia of people touching themselves. I want to see a sex doll. <gasps> no! You know it's my birthday soon. Yes, it does. Like if you had a clone and you sucked it off, would that make you gay? I guess not. I guess it would be masturbation if you were like touching your clone. I feel like such a child for finding masturbation that funny. Oh, yeah, dildo. Big fatty dildo. Come on, all the guys out there know where, where I'm coming from on this. You just love sitting there on your own, having yourself a little love tug. Don't you, Sheridan? Yes. Yep. Choking the chicken. Jacking the beanstalk. Yeah. <laughs> Honking the horn. Teasing the weasel. Stroking the bloke. Well, guys, this video was uploaded just to kind of give you an insight as to what I've been doing today. Wait, that sounds wrong. This video was just uploaded to kind of inform you about the discovery I made with May being masturbation month. So I hope you liked the video and everything. If not, it's cool. It was just kind of like a jokey thing. Anyway, I'm gonna try uploading more often. It's good. They're gonna be kind of, they're gonna have more of a purpose the next ones. But yeah, this was just, just a bit of fun. I'm gonna go and catch up on some 
well-needed masturbation later.